Quickly! You're starting to grow! Ah! Out you go! Just in time! That could have been disastrous! <sighs> What's all the noise about? You woke us up! Holly, where's Lucy? Shh! She's still asleep. What? Well, wake her up and get her out of the castle, quickly, before she gets big. Oh, yes, we forgot. Lucy, Lucy, wake up. What's happening? You're growing. Whoa, let's get out of here. Too late. Gosh, what a funny way to wake up. Lucy, are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. Morning, all. Is Lucy around? Uh, yes. I just wanted to say sorry. Big people aren't all about smashing our houses and stepping on us. Ow! Oops, sorry, Mr Mayor. I didn't mean to step on you. That's quite all right. I couldn't have been stepped on by a nicer person. Um, how am I going to get out of the castle? Oh, a bit of magic will fix that. Phew. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Lucy, home time. That's my mum. I've got to go now. Thanks for the great time. Yes, it was fun. Next time we'll come to your place. Ooh, that would be great. Bye. 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 It's a bumper crop! Yes, we managed to keep all the pests off them this year. No green fly. No caterpillars. And most important of all, no snails! Snail alert! Snail alert! <laughs> The cabbages into the elf truck. Boy, get off me vegetables! Save the cabbages! Stop! Stop! What are these snails doing here? Uh, we're just doing a rising class. Come on! It's no good. They're eating faster than we can carry. Snails, stop! Oh, you cheeky little snails. Cheeky? They've eaten half our cabbages. Well, if you will grow such delicious cabbages, what do you expect? But, but... Children, did you all have a nice ride today? Yes! Thank you, Miss Jolly. It's a pleasure. And we should also say a jolly big thank you to Mr Elf for giving the snails such a lovely lunch. It was my pleasure. Mind you, if they're going to eat at your place again, they really like lettuce the best. Grow a bit of that next time. All right. <laughs> People think snails are a pest, but they're adorable, really. Oh, look, I think he's coming. <gasps> Is he? Oh, do I look? Is my hat on straight? Oh. It's you. I thought you'd gone. Yes. Well, I I just... That is to say, I, er... Uh... That's the first time I've seen a gnome lost for words. Would you like to hear a song I've written? <laughs> yes. I'll take that as a yes. Oh, my lady gnome has lots of lovely hair and lots of pretty eyes and ears so fair. <laughs> I like it. I'm Gloria. They're friends now. Gloria, will you be my own lady gnome and live with me forever in the little kingdom? Yes, I will. Come, my dear. I'll show you your new house. Here we are. This is where we'll be living. Ooh! 
Whose idea was it to get them together? Nanny Plum, Your Majesty. No, it wasn't. It was your idea. Well, you made the breakfast tree. You told me to. Stop! Stop! What are we going to do about it? We can have a big wedding. Hello again. I'm afraid we have some bad news. What is it now? We've had a look at the elf tree and Gloria feels it's a bit tiny. I'm sorry we didn't design our elf tree for gnomes to live in. Nice of you to apologise, but it's still too small. And your castle isn't really to our taste. It's too old-fashioned. <laughs> All right, acorn class, settle down. Lucy, could you please feed Fluffy the hamster? Yes, Miss Cookie. <coughs> oh, look what I found. It's the toy pirate chest from the fish tank. How on earth did it get in Fluffy's cage? Maybe a pirate put it there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just put it back, shall we? Guarded by a ferocious beast indeed. Fluffy the hamster! <coughs> There. Back where it belongs. Never mind, Captain Squid. I think that's the best hiding place for it anyway. But you all know where it is now. We won't tell anyone. You swear? Yes, on pirates' honour. But, Redbeard, you said pirates don't really have any honour and... Yes, yes. Thank you, Holly. We'll talk about this more later. But for now, put your hands on your hearts and say pirates' honour. Pirates honour! All aboard! Let's be off before we're spotted. A flying ship. Yes, all the best pirates have one these days. Now, let's start the class. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Cookie, look! A flying pirate ship! It's, it's behind, behind you! Ha ha, yes, children. Now settle down, please. Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. What are you doing here? Tell you later. Set sail for home! Little kingdom, here we come. Ha -ha! I think we got away with that. Aye, it were a great adventure. And that's what being elf pirates is all about. Having adventures. There they are. They're keys. So how do we get them out? We let nature take its course. Let nature take its course? What does that mean? I think she means wait for him to poo it out. That's right. We all just have to follow him around for a bit. <laughs> Aha! Looks like Gaston might be about to, um, go. How disgusting. But at least we'll be getting the keys back. Oh, he only did a wee. Ah, oh, the little darling. We just have to wait for him to go in his own time. In his own time? But we don't have any more time. We're going to be late for the holiday. Did you get the keys? Um, we have to wait for nature to take its course. What does that mean? It means we have to wait for Gaston to... <coughs> <coughs> Gaston's coughing. What's wrong with him now? <coughs> the keys! Mr Elf, you're a very lucky man. Yes. Well, Gaston, you certainly deserve another Brave Boy sticker. <coughs> <laughs> Soon, Gaston will have more stickers than spots. Gaston's been through a lot. He could do with somewhere warm and nice for a good rest. He can come on holiday with us. That would be perfect. I'm sorry, but I did say Gaston couldn't come. But that was before he'd been sick. Uh, he probably needs a pet's passport. I can give him one of those. <laughs> it's settled then. Gaston can come on holiday with us. <laughs> Yay! And I gave it a brain. Master. And a voice. Master. What do you think of my gardening, Cedric? This isn't gardening. This is an abomination. Daddy, what's an abomination? That tulip. I do like my hobbies. Frogs. I asked myself, 
Why should a frog have just two eyes? Why not ten or twenty-three? Oh, that's enough, dear. They don't care about your silly old hobbies. Yes, I'm forgetting myself. It's your party, darling, and I've arranged a fantastic surprise. What's the surprise? I dread to think. To the top of the tower! <laughs> Granny Thistle loves looking at the stars. Oh, yes. Stars are very pretty. So I asked myself, why do we have to look at the stars from down here? Why not up there in the sky? turned into a rocket. Aren't the stars beautiful, Granny? They certainly are, darling. Very nice. Uh, Dad, how do you land this thing? No idea, son. This is magic. I don't have to know what I'm doing. I may not know much about magic, but I do know how to land a rocket. We're back home. And we survived the party. Thank you for landing the rocket, Cedric. My pleasure, Millicent. All right, boys, tea break. Tea break. OK, okay boss. <laughs> well done, Nanny Plum. No probs. Right, let's hide this treasure. Quickly now, dwarves never stop digging for long. Here they come! Gold! I found gold! There we go. Diamonds! There's diamonds here! Have we found treasure? Yes! And lots of it! Well done, lads! Keep digging! Eh? What do you mean, keep digging? In case there's more treasure, of course. We always dig twice as hard when we find treasure. Oh, no! What are you doing here anyway? This is the dwarf-only area. We put the treasure there for you to find. What? We thought you'd stop digging. We thought you'd be happy. Why, how thoughtful of you. And we thought you'd stop making that racket. Well, I suppose all the noise could be a bit upsetting. Yes, yes it is. And that's why we apologise in advance. Come on, lads, let's get digging. But, but... Ugh, all this digging has made me quite tired. Oh, me too, boss. Oh, mm. oh. I think they're going to sleep. Yes, they've tired themselves out. Night, night, boss. Night, night, lads. <gasps> Time for the cake. Keep still. Pretend to be toys. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> now, Lucy, blow out the candles. It might get a bit spitty when she blows the candles out. Don't tell her to blow them all out in one go. Remember to blow them all out in one go. <gasps> <sighs> Don't forget to make a wish. I want a pink unicorn. Strawberry? No. Pink unicorn. Ah! Wow, a pink unicorn. <laughs> My wish came true. That's amazing. Uh, right, everyone. Home time. <laughs> Don't forget your party bags. Hello, Yasmin. Did you have a nice time? Yes. Lucy's dad did magic. He's awesome. What are you looking like that for? All right. Out you come. All of you. I thought I made it clear there were to be no real elves and fairies at the party. But as soon as my back is turned, you invite every elf and fairy in the world. <gasps> Where's Jake? He's missing. He must have fallen into a party bag. <sighs> All right, don't panic. Just wait here. Ooh, what's this? Yum! I love cake! Oh, I think Lucy lost one of her toys. 
Ah, there it is. Thanks, Lucy's dad. Now, Smarty Pants will go outside and fix the engine. Uh, I'd love to, but I can't go outside. I don't have a spacesuit. A spacesuit? Oh, hang on. I think I packed one in my magic bag. Here you are. Uh, thank you, Nanny. Hmm, <laughs> this looks a bit like plumbing. Elves are good at plumbing, and I'm an elf. Oh. Hello there. What are you doing here? I'm the fairy helper, remember? Well, don't touch anything. This is advanced alien technology capable of travelling across the universe at the speed of light. Although, it is very like plumbing. Maybe if I give it a kick. <laughs> Why don't you just give it a push? Give it a push? This technological miracle? You just gave it a kick. Oh, uh, OK. Let's give it a push. It's just like getting a car to start. OK, Mr Zyros, give it a bit of gas. OK. Push! <laughs> Nothing. More gas. OK. Oh! It worked! They went off like a, a rocket. <laughs> Next stop, Planet Bob. Hey! Hey, come back! They've left us! That's outrageous! Help! 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 Thank you so much. You have saved Planet Bob. Oh, so lovely! An innocent, unspoiled world of nature. Gentle and beautiful in its loveliness. Yes. Right, lads, back to work! What's happening? We are starting up our factories again. Supposed to make all that smoke? Yes, they always do that. How lovely. And now you can have your holiday. Uh, you know what? I think we'll just go home. Very well. I will take you home. <laughs> Next stop, Planet Earth. <laughs> You are home. Thank you again, Smarty Pants. Oh, it was nothing. For you, maybe. I magicked up a whole planet's worth of rain. To honour our alien guests, the Elf Band will now play a tune. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? Oompa, 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 what beautiful music! Is this your national anthem? Ah, uh, who knows? It could be. It is wonderful. And now I must return to Planet Bomb. Oh, goody! They love my cakes. I'd better get baking. Who's eating all these cakes? Eating them? No one's eating them. So why do you want more? These cakes are the perfect building material. The rock cakes are super strong bricks. We're gluing them together using the super sticky fudge cake. And then the super waterproof gingerbread makes great roof tiles. Amazing! But of course, you must never tell the Queen. Never tell the Queen what? Uh... Oh, Mrs Fig, you've mended the school, so you managed to raise enough money by selling my cakes. Um, let's just say your cakes were a great help. Yes, three cheers for Queen Thistle. Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! Hip, hip! Hang on. These bricks look just like my rock cakes. Uh, yes. And this cement is just like my fudge cake. It is my fudge cake. 
Oh, no! At least she hasn't spotted the roof. And the roof tiles are my gingerbread. You didn't want to eat my cakes. Well, they're not really for eating, are they, darling? Not if you want to survive. I thought everybody liked my cakes, but nobody did. I wish I'd never baked a single cake. <laughs> but, Mummy, if we hadn't baked any cakes, we wouldn't have mended the school. Holly is right. It's only because of your baking the magic school is fixed. I suppose that's true. Hooray for Queen Thistle! Hooray! <laughs> Remember, I'm cross. Mrs Witch, it's been such a thrill to be in a competition with you. Remember, I'm... Oh, thank you, dear. You're so nice. <gasps> She's turned Mrs Witch to stone. That's it. I've won. I'll be the Little Kingdom's witch. I'll really enjoy working with you, King Thistle. Uh, working with me? Oh, yes. I've got big plans for the Little Kingdom. Oh, dear. She sounds like a bit of a bossy boots. Meow. And Mrs Witch's mangy old cat will have to go. Did you see Mrs Witch move? She can't move. She's been turned to stone. He really is a flea-bitten old thing. He smells awful. I'm really cross. You leave my moggy alone. Wow, Mrs. Witch turned the other witch to stone. So, I suppose Mrs. Witch is the winner. We knew you could do it. Uh, shouldn't you turn Wendy Witch back now? She was very rude about my Moggy. But if she says sorry... Sorry. And sorry to Moggy. Sorry, Moggy. <sighs> Thanks. You're just amazing, Mrs Witch. I've never seen anyone break out of a stone spell before. And you're a very polite and clever young witch, mostly. Well, as they say, this town ain't big enough for the both of us. So I'll be moving along. Bye! It's good to have them back. It's been very nice and peaceful down here. A bit like a holiday. But I will be glad to be back in my own little home. Mama Gil! Mama Gil! Yeah! Daisy! Poppy! Uh, on the other hand, I think I'll stay here. Young lady, do you want to be rescued or not? Oh, I don't know. It's so hard to decide. I'll make it easy for you. Yes? As queen, I command you to come back. Oh, well, in that case... Right. Mission accomplished. Let's go home. Back to the lift, everyone. Oh, no. Not that horrid lift again. My poor tummy. There is another way up. We can go by balloon. <laughs> Just need a basket. Abracadabra. All aboard. Goodbye, people of the underground. We bid you farewell, surface dwellers. See ya. Ah, oh, floating gently up in a balloon sounds lovely and relaxing. It certainly will be lovely and relaxing. If you can call hurtling through a volcano relaxing. Volcano? Of course. The volcano will take us straight up to the surface. Dad, I said no volcanoes. Oh, we'll be fine, as long as the volcano doesn't erupt. Whoops, seems to be erupting. Ah, oh, well, here we go. Redbeard, this is my treasure, not yours. How did you find me? We just followed the rainbow. Ah, rainbows. They're a pirate's worst enemy. No, they're not. Rainbows are a pirate's best friend. Depends whether you're burying treasure or finding it. Good point. So, anyway, don't let us stop you, Captain Squid. You get back to burying your treasure. Thank you kindly, Redbeard. I was just about to bury it here.
Hang on. You can't trick me that easily. No one must see where I bury my treasure. You've all got to close your eyes. Thank you. OK, you can look now. So, where did you bury it? Why, it's right over there. Ha <laughs> ha! You're trying to trick me again. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. The rainbow's moving. It's gone to the treasure. Ah, blasted rainbows. Don't worry, Captain Squid. We won't dig it up, will we, Redbeard? No, of course not. Is it home time yet? Yes, I think it is. Today's adventure is over. And I'd be honoured to take you all home on my yacht. That sounds a nice way to travel. Yacht? That's a rowing boat. Plenty of room if we all squeeze up. <laughs> Where can I sit? Wait a minute. Are you a woman? Yes. Oh, bad luck having a woman on board. It's all right. Turns out it's bad luck for the woman, not for us. Oh, in that case, welcome aboard, me lovely. So, quite a way then. Gaston's been gone for ages. I hope he's all right. Gaston! And he's brought Old Grey Wolf. Oh, I'm very pleased to see you, Old Grey Donkey. It's Old Grey Wolf, and you have to say, Awoo! OK, Awoo! What's your plan, Old Grey Wolf? Awoo! Awoo! Have you brought the elf helicopter to lift us to safety? Or a team of mountain rescue elves to carry us down the mountain? Uh, actually, I, I set off in, in a bit of a hurry, and you were a bit further away than I expected. So, you're just here on your own without a plan of any sort? Uh, yes. That's about it. Maybe you should do a bit of a magic? I'd love to. But he threw my wand away. So that's why I found it at the bottom of the mountain. Oh, it's good to have you back again. So, if you wouldn't mind um, magicking us back home? No problemo. Hooray! That was a really good adventure. Thank you, Fluffy Owl. Twit twoo. Well, you should thank Mr Elf. It was his idea. Thank you, Mr Elf. Yes, Dad. It was great. Ho, oh, oh. ho. And I think all of you fox cubs have earned your adventure badges. Indeed. Adventure badges for everyone. Thank, thank you, Old Grey Wolf. Wow. And for fetching help in the Fox Cubs' hour of need, one of you has earned the rescue badge. Who is it? Gaston, of course. <laughs> Aha, Jelly. Your snack, King Thistle. Lovely. What is it? Jelly. <laughs> oh, that's magic jelly. We don't want a jelly flood. Oh, oh, there's not going to be a jelly flood. But all it takes is someone to shout, magic jelly, more, more, more. Who would be foolish enough to shout, magic jelly, more, more, more? Whoops! Jelly flood! Somebody answer the phone. I'm busy eating biscuits. Nanny, you're in charge. Oh, all right. Hello, Elf Rescue here. It had better be something important. Uh, I, I seem to have made a jelly flood. Can you rescue us, please? Okie dokie. Elf Rescue a go. Launch everything. Elf Rocket A OK. Elf Plane. Okay. Elf helicopter, A OK. Thank goodness you're here, Elf Rescue. A jelly flood isn't a job for Elf Rescue. It's a job for Nanny Plum. Magic time! Thank you, Nanny. Being you for a day wasn't easy. And it wasn't easy being you either. Ah, oh, I'm Nanny Plum again. And I'm the wise old elf. 
Good. Everything is back to normal. Hooray! Can we do the song now? Oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> King Leopold, may I present the Elf and Fairy Band? Lovely. <laughs> Excuse me for interrupting, but I couldn't help noticing you've got a magic piano. Hello there. And no offence, but that fancy whiffy waffy music is a waste of a good magic piano. Do you know any rock and roll? Rock and roll's my middle name. Wise old elf. Do you like rock and roll? Rock and roll? I most certainly do not like rock and roll. I'll take that as a yes. Over to you, Mr. Piano. A bee bop a doo da a doo da do. <laughs> I must bump your boos and wiggle your woo-ahs. Thank you very much. Oh, that was fun. I'm going to enjoy staying here. Oh, dear. We're stuck with him for weeks now. This gnome king is incredible. If only King Leopold would come and stay with us at our castle. I don't see why not. Just mention pies, and he's all yours. And so, Squire Trevelyan turned out to be nice after all, and I married him. The end. My goodness! That was a surprise ending. Land ahoy! We're home! Yes, but that means we're near to Big Bad Barry. Stop worrying, Mr Elf. Barry might not turn up. Oh, look! There's Barry! Oh, he's been waiting for us all this time. How sweet! He's going to eat Bunty 3. Yum, yum. Ah! Abandoned ship! Abandoned ship! Don't worry, everyone. Whatever happens, I will take full responsibility. That makes everything all right, then. My boat is gone. Gone into Barry's tummy. Curse you, Big Bad Barry. You'll never eat another boat of mine. Never, never, because I'm not going to build a boat ever again. I think you've upset Barry, Mr Elf. Look at his sad little face. <laughs> he is crying. I've never seen a fish cry. You shouldn't be so unkind to Barry. What? Yes, Barry doesn't mean any harm. Doesn't mean any harm? Mr Elf, as your king, I command you to build another boat for Barry. Eh? What sort of boat would you like, Barry? A sailing boat? Yum, yum. If the dwarves had seen the rope hanging from the top of the cave, they would have known someone was in here. I'm not called the wise one for nothing. Um, but if the rope's down here, how are we going to climb out? Don't worry. The wise one will have thought of that. He'll have a brilliant plan. Ah, oh, uh, it, this is a bit embarrassing. I, uh, uh, uh... So, the wise one pulled the rope down but forgot that we need to climb up it to get out. Yes, that's about it. No worries, we'll just fly out. But, but us elves can't fly. Oh, OK. I'll magic the rope to the top. Ooh. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Wise old elf, aren't you climbing up? I am not climbing up a magic rope. See yourself. You can live down there forever. OK, OK. I'll climb up the magic rope. 
Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, Mrs. Fotheringill. What are you doing here? I came as quick as I could when I heard Susan was in trouble. Susan? Who's Susan? Susan the Ladybug. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> That's Gaston. <laughs> oh, all right, cowboys. Let's round up the chickens. Come back, chickens! Chickens, come back! Nanny, remember, no sudden loud noises. We don't want a chicken stampede. All right. You aren't exactly quiet yourself. Ha! Elves are good at being quiet. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. Ah! Whoops. The chickens are stampeding! <laughs> We'll head them off at the pass. Head them off at the pass? What does that mean? No idea. But they say it in all the cowboy films. The chickens are heading straight for the fairy village. <laughs> yeah, chicken stampede! <laughs> Which way did the chickens go? They went that away. Yes, that's what they say in cowboy films as well. They went that away. Ah, <sighs> it's so lovely to wake up to the song of a little bird. <laughs> Good grief! What are those chickens doing here? You said you wanted a chicken, Daddy. I didn't expect you to take me seriously. You're the king. Of course we take you seriously. What are they doing to my flower garden? Eating it, Your Majesty. If you are going to keep chickens, you have to say goodbye to flower gardens. But you can have eggs for breakfast every day. <laughs> <laughs> Oceana, we brought your mirror back. Oh, thank you so much. But why is it so tiny? We had to shrink it down to fit in the submarine. Don't worry, the spell will wear off soon and it'll grow big again. <laughs> there you go. My mirror, thank you all so much. You're very welcome. Well, it's been a... Uh... Very interesting meeting you, uh, mermaids, but we must be getting back now. Bye, Oceana. Bye, everyone. Bye, Betty. <laughs> um, you know how the mirror suddenly got big again? Well, that happened to me and my dad. Yep, and the fun bit is you don't know when. Which means we should get a move on. We don't want them to grow big in the submarine. Whoa! I'm growing! Yeah, so am I. We must get to land. Full speed ahead. Almost there. Almost there. Try not to roll too much. <laughs> to panic. We had plenty of time. What an adventure! Yes, it was quite amazing. Remember, Lucy's dad, the little kingdom is meant to be secret. You must not tell any of your friends what you saw today. Tell my friends what I saw today? Let me think about that. And then the magical fairies shrank me down to the size of my thumb. I saw singing mermaids and did I tell you that I now have a fish for a brother? Nanny, why are there still bangs going on in the other rooms? Well, it was going to happen at some point anyway, so I thought I'd save a bit of time and just turn the whole lot of them into frogs. All the big people in the museum? You've turned them all into frogs? That's right. I knew you'd be pleased. Oh, what happened? Where am I? It's the museum man. He's turned back to himself again. Yes, and he's confused and a little bit annoyed. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! All the Vikings are turning back too. Right. I think this is as good a time as any to leave. Let's get out of here. Ah! Hold up, hold. Keep together, children. Back on the bus. Next stop, the Little Kingdom. 
Stop! Everybody off! Oof. Oh! Well, all in all, that didn't go too badly. We survived and the museum wasn't destroyed. <laughs> Good goal! You see? All you have to do is trust the little darlings and they will repay your trust. She's really in a world of her own. She never learns. And next time, I thought we could visit a... Next time? Yes, we'll visit a big castle. You know, I've always wanted to live in the times of knights in armor. Abracadabra! <laughs> <sighs> Let's bring her back. Abracadabra. On second thoughts, I never want to live in the time of knights in armor. I think the safest, nicest time is right here and now. Happy birthday, Gaston. Here's your present. <laughs> it's a squeaky toy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry, do you have an invitation? I don't need one. I'm King Thistle. King Thistle, King Thistle. No, your name's not on here. What? But it's my party. No, it's not, mate. It's Gaston the Ladybird's party. What? Take it easy, fella. It's supposed to be a happy occasion. It's all right. He's with us. What's going on? Where's my birthday party? You said you didn't want a party. I know I said that, but what I really meant was I do want a party. Oh, Daddy. You are silly. Yes, I know. Oh, well, I'm sure Gaston won't mind sharing his party with you. <laughs> Gaston, be nice and share your present with King Thistle. <laughs> Gaston, that's not how to behave on your birthday. <laughs> For me? How kind. <laughs> it's a squeaky toy. <laughs> yes, for you to chase. And now it's time for the birthday song. He's round and he's red with big black spots. How dare they? It's about Gaston, Daddy. He rolls on his back and he barks a lot. He's Gaston the ladybird. That was really fun. Maybe birthday parties aren't that bad. What's that noise? Happy birthday! Ah! Hooray! Where is the Queen? Uh, on her way to the North Pole. Somehow she shrank down inside the castle. I see. I'll just have to sort this mess out myself then. Let's give Father Christmas a ring. Ah, good. A phone. Ah! Put me down. Out of this cracker! Still one more box of crackers? Let's get them loaded. Daddy's taking a long time. I'm the king! <laughs> oh! Another box of crackers! We never see who delivers them. Ah! Oh, trapped in a cracker! <sighs> oh, well. At least I can phone for help. Ah, oh, yes. It's not a phone. It's a lump of plastic. Get me out of this cracker! Trees! Last delivery of Christmas trees! Wow! That's a big Christmas tree. Up in a garden centre. How embarrassing. Ah, the North Pole. I need to get ready for my Christmas deliveries. One last toy to be wrapped. I'm not a toy. I'm Queen Thistle. Ah! <laughs> wow! A tiny fairy castle! Hello, Lucy! Queen Thistle! What are you doing in there? Um, it's a bit complicated, but basically this isn't a toy. It's the real little castle shrunk down.
down. Are you okay? I'll be fine once I'm my own size again. Um, are there any more of you, uh, fairies around here? What's that noise? Ah! Hello, Lucy's dad. Um, hello. Daddy! Mummy! Hello! <laughs> hello, everybody. Um, is that all of you now? Uh, there are the pine elves too. Pine elves? What are they? We're pine elves! They live in our Christmas tree. Pine elves! Yes, of course. Why didn't I think of that? My goodness, it looks like just about everyone from the Little Kingdom is here. Hello. Um, hello. We heard the Christmas party was around your place this year. We're gnomes, by the way. <laughs> um, it seems we have gnomes as well. Yes, aren't you the lucky ones? <gasps> ah! Hello, big people. Happy Christmas from Planet Bung. Aliens, elves, fairies, gnomes. All we need now is Father Christmas. It was years ago. Yes, there was you and Naughty Prince Thistle. King Thistle now. Nanny Plum, we must never talk to big grown-ups. Oh, Hello, wise old elf. Nice to see you again. Oh, hello, Sally. Did you know the wise old elf when he was very young? No, he's always been old. And wise. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Oh, thank you. So, it's the little kingdom where Dad's putting the cows. Yes! yes. Then we must stop him. Come on, everyone. Stop, stop. What? We have to find somewhere else to put the cows. Uh, why? Because, um, because the grass here is a bit, um, dry and, uh... And the ground is, uh, too muddy. There must be a better place to put the cows. No, this is the perfect place. The plan's not working. Uh, who said that? Now, what do we do? Is it frog time? No, Nanny! What? Frog time! Ah! Don't let the farmer know we're here. OK, Clever Clogs, what's your plan, then? Um, hello? We'll be with you in a moment. Now, Nanny Plum, as I was saying... Um, who are you all? Hello, Mr Farmer. We're elves and fairies. And we live here, in the meadow. Elves and fairies living in the meadow? Yes! So, we can't put the cows here, darling. Well, of course not. I don't want to knock anyone's house down. Hooray! And one more thing, Dad. You must not tell any of your friends that you've seen elves and fairies. Mm, don't worry. There is no way that I will tell any of my friends that I've been seeing elves and fairies. Thank you, Dad. Who is the most sensible person here? The wise old elf. The wise old elf shall wave the wand. Me? But I'm not a fairy. I don't do magic. Exactly. The perfect person. Oh, I don't think so. No, it wouldn't be right. Nonsense. We just need a bit of fairy dust. You are now magical. My body is all tingly. I don't like it. Don't worry, you won't be magical for very long. Just wave the wand and say, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Uh, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. <gasps> oh! oh, it worked. Can I turn Nanny Plum into a frog? Ha, I'd like to see you try. <laughs> I say, this is fun. <laughs> Oh, what happened? <laughs> Wise old elf, what are you doing? Having fun. Magic is not meant to be fun. What would happen if I asked for a lot of jelly? Try it and see. Jelly, 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 and lots of it. No, stop. We don't want a jelly flag. <laughs> Jelly Frog! <laughs> Nanny 
Plum. It wasn't me. It was him. That's ridiculous. Elves don't do magic. Actually, Your Majesty, it was the wise old elf. Even old Figgy telling tales now. It's true. The wise old elf did it. Oh, dear. I believe I did do the spell. Fancy that. The wise old elf doing magic. <laughs> you have been naughty. Thank goodness you finally come to rescue me. Well, we sort of need rescuing ourselves, actually. Oh. If only Mummy was here. Yes, the Queen could magic us home. But the Queen is here. I saw her this morning. Hooray! But she was carried off by one of those pterodactyl things. <laughs> Leaving just her wand and her cell phone. Mrs. Fotheringill, do you know where the pterodactyls live? They live on Scary Mountain. I could take you there if you want. All right. Come on, children. Hold hands. Stay together. Mrs. Fotheringill, why is it called Scary Mountain? I'm trapped. It won't lift up its foot. I'll climb up and tickle the pterodactyl. Elves are good at tickling pterodactyls, and I'm an elf. Careful, Ben. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> Hooray! Here's your wand, Mummy. Thank you, everyone. Now I think we all better get back home. Oh, hello! Hello, everyone. I was getting a tiny bit worried. I think it's all gone very well for the first day. And the good news is we've found Mrs. Fotheringill. Hello! Welcome back, Mrs. Fotheringill. I expect you'd like a little rest. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Thank you. It looks a bit funny, if you ask me. It is a traditional Viking boat. Oh, no, it isn't. I'll show you a traditional Viking boat. Mr. Elf, please bring out our boat. Righto. Oh. What's wrong? We can't get the boat through the door. It's too big. Oh, that's a bit embarrassing. I suppose you want some fairy help getting it out. Yes, please. Here, boy. <whistles> Fetch! Well, I suppose we might be able to fix it in time. Oh. Hello, everyone. Have you finished my boat? Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> uh, what's that? Your boat. So, I told you to make me a boat that wouldn't be laughed at, and this is what you made? Yes, Your Majesty. Whose idea was the hippo head? That was my idea. I thought of the flames. And the legs? Uh, my idea, Your Majesty. I thought of the chicken wings. I am going to be a complete laughing stock. I can't wait to see what King Thistle's boat looks like. <laughs> What's that noise? Hello! Is that your boat, King Thistle? Uh, yes. Why? It's... I know, I know. It's the most amazing boat we've ever seen. It's fantastic. Well... One gold coin. I earned it all myself. Oh, well done. Done, darling. We just chuck it in the magic money chest. It's doing the popcorn thing. It's full of gold coins. <laughs> We're rich again. Hooray! Well done, Daddy. You worked so hard today. It was fun. Well, I'm off. Don't want to be late. Where are you going, Daddy? Back to work. I've decided to work evenings. But we have the money, Daddy. There's more to work than money, Holly. 
The elves need me. Your Majesty, we need you. You see? We want you to be the king again. But kings don't work. I want to be useful. But kings are useful. We needed a king to launch the elf ship. That's true. You launched the elf ship, Daddy. Even though you sort of sank it as well. We couldn't make our toys if a king didn't inspect them. And most importantly, a king has to start our harvest dance. I see. Well, in that case, start the harvest dance. Hooray! Um, should we keep Gaston outside? Nanny doesn't like his muddy feet indoors. Oh, yes. Gaston, wait outside. <laughs> oh. Well, I think we can bend the rules just this once. <laughs> Hello. How was training? It was amazing. Miss Jolly put Gaston on a lead. Yes, Gaston is completely trained. <coughs> he does everything I say. Really? Yes, he can even fetch shoes properly now. Goodness, are you sure? Oh, yes. Watch this. Gaston, fetch the Queen's slippers, please. <coughs> <coughs> Boy, Gaston, drop. <laughs> drop. <laughs> drop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> ah, he's eaten my slippers. What's gone wrong? He was trained a minute ago. But, Daddy, you did break Miss Jolly's rules. Yes, we were supposed to show Gaston who's boss. What do you mean? You shouldn't have let him off the lead. And you shouldn't have let him come in the castle. You're right. I should be much firmer with him. Gaston, sit. Sit. Oh, well, pet school isn't such a big deal anyway. The important thing is Gaston knows who's boss. <laughs> Come on, Gaston. Off my throne. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. I'll just sit down here. <laughs> oh, I must have imagined it. Right, um. Uh... Here are your toys back, Lucy. The pretty fairy, the handsome elf, the fairy godmother and the strange old goblin. Madam, for your information, I am not a goblin. I'm an elf. <laughs> oh, well done, wise old elf. So much for not being seen by big people. Now Miss Cookie knows about us. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. Hello, Miss Cookie. You must promise not to tell any of your friends that you've been seeing elves and fairies. No, I promise I won't tell anyone, any of my friends, that I've been seeing elves and fairies. Thank you so much. Bye! Can I have my ladybird back? Your ladybird? OK. <laughs> By the way, he's a boy and he loves spaghetti bolognese. Don't you, Gaston? <laughs> Bye! Now I've seen everything. Cheerio! Hi, Dad. Hi, Lucy. Good day. <laughs> Great! So what did you do at school today? Uh, well... Bye, Lucy. Can we have our wands back? Of course. See you again soon. Cheerio, Lucy's dad. Uh, cheerio. You'll never in a million years guess what I saw today. An elf in a helicopter. Don't tell me. You've seen them too. Um, yes. Maybe we should just keep this between ourselves, eh? Yeah, good idea. I think we got away with that. Marvellous. Uh... Let's get going, then, shall we? Nanny, how big is a grown-up dragon? Think of the biggest thing that you can think of. And it's bigger than that. Bigger than a horse? Much bigger. Bigger than an elephant? Yeah, you're getting there. Wow! A grown-up dragon is ginormous! Right, then. Home time. But we haven't said goodbye to Dave. OK, quickly. Goodbye, Dave. This is where you belong. This is your home. Don't 
don't worry, Gaston. Maybe Dave can come and visit you. <laughs> wow! More dragons! Lovely. Well, maybe we should be thinking about leaving. Can't we stay a bit longer? No. Run! Bye-bye, Dave. <laughs> right. Fasten seatbelts and off we go! Whoa, looks like we got away with that one. <gasps> nice dragon. Don't breathe fire now. Don't breathe fire. Nice dragon. Whoa! It's a bit warm in here. Let's open the door and get some fresh air. Gaston wants to play. Here, boy, fetch the stick. Oh, the back door is open. <laughs> 